These students face a reality that many of us have never had to think about while attending school. Exactly. Run, hide, fight is sadly part of their upbringing. Fox News Randy Wimbley spoke to students who are part of Generation Lockdown. He joins us live with that story. Randy. Hey guys, I spoke with a young woman who was weeping while placing flowers on the rock at Gellin Mall here at Wayne State. She did not know anyone at MSU, but says that could have happened here and any of the victims could have been her. When did you guys first hear even the term mass shooting? Not really remember, but because it's like we've hear it so many times, you know, it's kind of like what we've grown up with. If there's any cultural phenomenon that's played a role in shaping Gen Z, it's mass shootings. Such seem to be evident at Wayne State Thursday as students mourn the lives lost in the tragedy at MSU. It's become our instinct to automatically, when we go to class and go to a room, it's know your exits, know how to lock doors, know how to close the blinds, know how to barricade the doors. If somebody comes in, know what you can use as a weapon. 43-year-old Anthony McRae shot and killed Ariel Anderson, Brian Fraser, Alexandria Verner, and wounded five others before turning the gun on himself. Police say he was found with two firearms that were purchased legally. He was arrested in 2019 on a felony gun charge that was reduced to a misdemeanor. While police have not determined the motive, they say McCray had a note suggesting he felt slighted by local businesses. I think our state legislature really needs to continue to work together to pass laws to make it more difficult for people who have any type of mental health concern and making sure that there's a more guided background check. While almost all of the young people we talk with want more gun control laws enacted. Getting to the root of the issue and getting to the root of the problem and that is gun laws and that is like how are we allowing people who have background um, criminal background to purchase a gun. Some say a more comprehensive approach is needed. Well, I believe we should get to the root cause of why the person is doing this violence, because even if they don't have guns, they'll use something like a knife or anything to cause violence. Some students lamenting the Lansing shooting say there is a difference in how mass shootings are seen compared to the kind of violence that occurs in cities like Detroit. You sleep in your bed and you hear gunshots. Oh, well, I'm going to go back to sleep or your friend just called and said, oh, they were shooting on my block. Oh, really, are you okay? And then you keep it pushing versus the school shootings, they get more coverage. Nikisha Mill says none of it is acceptable and all of it is too burdensome. The uncertainty really just puts a big hole in my heart because at what point do we say enough is enough? Now, Democrats introduced three measures today, extreme risk protection orders, mandatory safe firearm storage and universal background checks. Now, the gun rights group Great Lakes Gun Rights Organization, they are slamming those bills, saying they title these bills heroic sounding names, but let's title them what they really are. No due process gun confiscation, universal gun registration and lock up your safety while at home. Gun control has not worked here and so-called gun free zones failed the students of Michigan State. That from the Great Lakes Gun Rights Group. Dave, Taryn. Yeah, Randy, uh, so those bills that were just introduced, w w do you think they'll we'll get any play? Do you think they'll come up for a vote this time around? Yeah, well, Dave, when you consider the fact that Democrats uh, basically control the House, the Senate, and obviously the uh, gubernatorial seat, the governor's seat in Lansing, it is not unreasonable to think that they can get these bills passed in a few weeks.